Hey guys, um, so this is James. I wanted to do kind of start making some better content for you guys. Um, and this is kind of this this is this video is kind of built on the uh, concept I came up a few months ago: the best two ways to increase the size of your penis is by losing weight and by using the bathroom, right? So we're gonna we're gonna hit on the lose weight side of this uh, in this video, okay? Um, so just to give you guys some statistics, 74. This is actually up by one percent, um, and even I think this 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 percentage is fucked. I think this this stat is under under reporting. But anyways, uh, 74 percent of Americans are overweight, right? So. If you're watching this video and you're in America, I got a 74% chance that this is for you. Okay, this is for you. Um, so, losing weight is the best thing you can do in your life, right? If you if you're like, what do I do first? How how do I build a life? What what I want to accomplish stuff? The very first thing is lose weight. Um, like I said, from a PE perspective, it helps you. Um, it helps with your penis because it, uh, you get better blood flow when you fit. You don't have the fat pad. Everything's working right. Th this is a this is a important this is an important step. But let's take that out. Let's just let's just put that to the side for um, a moment, right? Uh, when you're fit and healthy, you generally live longer, right? I know there's exceptions, but you generally live longer. Okay. Uh, fit people are generally more attractive, so attractive people get not only more sexual attention, but um, they make better salesmen, right? Um, I, I, my cousin is a salesman, um, very, very, very like handsome. Okay, he, like uh, uh, women who 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 see him say that guy's handsome, right? There's a reason he got he was made in charge of sales, right? Um, he just looks like somebody you would want to you want would want to present to um, a client. Like he looks like a very good representative, right? Um, like I said, fit, lean, tall, just it just it makes sense. It adds up. So being fit uh, and um, thinning down is a very very important step. All right, guys. Um, but if this is the first step, what is the first step in losing weight, right, guys? Um, and I thought about this. There's a lot of tips I could give. There's a lot of things, but I think this one, I think this one, you get the most, the most uh, bang out of your buck for this uh, if you follow this one tip. And that is cut out breakfast. All right, guys, cut it out. Um, so that's kind of a big range. So for some people, breakfast, guys, is some toast and jam in the morning, right? Other people breakfast is, I'm going to go to a pancake house, have like, you know, the pancakes, the hash browns, the bacon, the eggs, the whole, the whole, the whole thing, right? Um, when I say cut out breakfast, I mean all of it, all of it on the spectrum from the, from the bagel at home to the, to the, I'm going and getting a, uh, the steak and eggs at my pancake house every morning. Cut, cut it out. All right, guys. Um. And I kind of want to give five reasons, like five benefits of cutting out breakfast, right? Five reasons dash benefits that you should, okay? And the five are this. First, you eat way more calories. You are eating way more calories than um than you think you are. Way more. So um, there's a pancake house um, by where I live, and they have, uh, they're known for their country fried steaks. This is a, this is a breaded steak that they deep fry. Uh, it's like they're, it's like they're like, you know, what they're famous for. Okay. Now I think, I think it, the, I don't have the exact calorie count for me, but I believe it's around 2200 for this meal. Okay. 2200 calories. That's over, over 200, over 200, uh, the daily, uh, the daily recommended, uh, calorie intake, all right, guys? Now, I know some people need more than 2,000 a day. Some people need less, but just generally speaking, that's over 200, the recommended calorie intake for the day, okay? That's a lot. That's that's huge. That's huge, 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 all right, guys? Um, like, that's just a lot of calories. Um, and, you know, 
people eating that for breakfast, um, I'm not going to say every day, but every, maybe every other day, you know, they're going to probably have lunch, maybe dinner, easily, easily getting over the 4,000 calorie range. I mean, that that's that's huge. That's huge. Um, and generally, like, guys, the other thing that uh, we don't take into consideration is people snack throughout the day. I consider that part of the breakfast thing. Like, like the objective here, guys, the, the, the thing we're trying to achieve is not to have our first calorie intake until noon, okay? So you go to bed at night, you wake up in the morning, and you don't, like, let's just say you wake up at 6 in the morning. You don't have your first meal and, or first any sort of calorie intake until noon, okay? At 12 o'clock, okay, now I can have some sort of calorie intake. Um, and this includes the coffee with the sugar and cream in it. If you just drink black coffee, cool, but none of the additive shit, right? So, again, people consume way more calories than they think they are throughout the day. Way more. So, if, you're, if your calorie intake is out of control, cut out the breakfast. Don't eat till noon, okay? So, that that's that's the first thing. The first reason, the first step, the first benefit, however you want with it. Um, the second thing, guys, and this, I found this out, and this actually helps me. This, this, knowing this fact, next, guys, helps me. When you wake up in the morning and you're hungry, it's not that your body needs nutrition. That, that's not what your body is, what's going on, right? Because actually, I usually wake up about five, so by seven, I'm hungry, right? What it is, is when you wake up and your body starts, you know, doing stuff, um, cortisol, cortisol, which is the stress hormone, starts getting produced. And it is that hormone that is making you hungry. So it's not that your body's like, I need nutrition. It's, I have a, um, your, your stress hormones coming into play and eating kind of eases it, okay? So knowing that, knowing that when I, when I wake up up in the morning and I'm hungry, I'm like, my body doesn't need nutrition. My body is just, the hormone is just kicking into effect, right? Another way to reduce this hormone is going on long walks. But I understand, you know, on the weekday, you got to get to work, so that's not really a thing. Um, but just understand that you're not hungry because you need nutrition. Now, obviously, if you haven't eaten in two days, that, that's not what I'm talking about. But understand that that's not what's going on. What's going on is that um, your body, the stress hormone's kicking into play, and you want to eat to satisfy it, okay? You don't want to eat it so... Just understanding that helps me, guys, because I can just say to myself, I'm not really hungry in the sense of I need nutrition. I'm hungry because there's a hormone that's, um, you know, that's kicking things into play, okay? Um, number three, guys, um, is... Number three, guys, is that... Uh, Not eating until noon keeps you in a um, fasted state longer. Now, I'm sure you've all heard about intermediate fasting. Um, really, it's just skip breakfast. What's going on, guys, is that every time you eat, even if it's just a small amount, every time you eat, you spike insulin, right? And if when you spike insulin, the fat-burning mechanisms in your body either slow down or shut off altogether. Um and you have to wait for the insulin to get back down, right? So if you are in a fat, it basically if you are in a state where your body is not producing masses amount of insulin, your body is going to burn the fat, okay? Or it's 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 not going to store the fat. That's probably a better way to look at it. Um, I think I actually read that your body only burns fat when you're asleep. I don't know if that's true, but if that's the case, that that does make sleep getting more sleep and po super important. But that's a that's a topic for the uh, another video. Basically, guys, you you want your body in an energy burning uh, mode, not energy conserving mode. And the hormone that does that is insulin. So, um, if you're only eating like twice a day, you're only spiking your insulin twice a day. If it's low, if it's low spiking foods you're eating, um, then this really helps, right? So the big thing, guys, is you know being in a fasted state for longer period of time. So just kind of recap the first three things we've talked about. Um, you're eating way more calories. The reason you should skip breakfast is because you're eating way more calories in the day than you already than you think you are. 
Um, you're not really hungry because your body needs nutrition. You're hungry because of cortisol. And three, um, you uh, you want to be in a fasted state longer to reduce the amount of insulin in your body, right? So we got two more reasons. I got two more reasons. Um, the reason number four, or benefit number four, guys, is... Um, was benefit number four. Um, oh, this synergizes. Um, if, if I had to give a second tip of how to lose weight, guys, if I had to give a second tip how to lose weight, um, this synergizes really well with the lift weights on an empty stomach uh, philosophy. Um, so you you tend to burn more calories when you are in a, in a fasted state and you lift weights, right? Um, but after you lift the weights, you shouldn't go and eat right away either. No. Now I've I've had a hard time finding if there's a good a good time to um there's a good time to um how long you should wait to eat after you lift weights. I, I can't find anything. I've I've researched it, I can't find anything. I have heard don't eat right away after you lift weights. I I've gotten that, but I don't I, I've never gotten like an actual like don't eat until, until, but any, in any speaking, generally speaking, guys, uh, when you lift weights on an empty stomach, you lose more weight, okay? Um, some people say up to 20% more. I, I'm not going to say that, make that claim, but th that's what I've heard on the street. Um, so, if you're lifting weights on the morning, um, again, generally, like, let's say you wake up at 5, you're at the gym at 6, you get to work at seven, and then you eat the first meal at noon. Uh, the, you, you would you would you would really be working. Uh, you would really be working to get your body in that fat fat burning mode, right? So that that's generally another reason is it synergizes really good with that that step. So that's what I would recommend. Um, and number five, guys, and this is this is a little this does isn't related to weight loss, but it's super important. Um, eating breakfast every day is probably making you poor. Okay, so I kind of I kind of did the math. Like, let's just say McDonald's is five dollars, and um, pancake houses or um, pancake houses are like twenty, right? So let's just say, on average, people are spending ten dollars a day on um, ten day ten dollars a day. Let me figure this out. Ten dollars a day on uh, on breakfast, right? Oh, I already got it. So on average, guys, you're probably spending $3,500 a year on breakfast. Um, and that money could go to other things. You, maybe you have a credit card that you have like $3,500 on. You could pay off. Um, that could be a Roth RA. That could be half of the Roth RA for the year. Uh, I believe the contribution is $6,000. Um, and I, I, I'm going to guarantee you guys, people are probably spending a lot more money on average than $10 a day on breakfast overall. I, I, I bet you there's some people spending twice that. But anyways, um, th this is one of the things that keeps you poor when you spend money on shit you don't really need and you don't really need breakfast, right? Um, so financially, it's just a good idea not to do it either, right? Um. Uh, Really, if you're really tight for money, you shouldn't be eating breakfast and you should be packing a lunch. That would be very helpful in this, uh, as of this video, inflation's super high, so food's very expensive. So that, that's another thing you could do, um, to help save some, some dollars on the side. Um, now obviously some people are watching this and already not eating breakfast because of the money thing. Uh, but you might be snacking, right? Instead of having breakfast, you might be having like a cupcake or a bag of chips from your gas station. The, the you know the two ninety nine deals, don't do that either. No calories, no calories until noon. Okay, no calories until noon. That is the objective, right? That's that's the goal. Um, so that's what I got for you guys today. Um, I hope you take this to heart. Like I said, this this is just like if I was to say, what's the first thing if you're trying to lose weight and you don't know where to start? What would be the first thing I would suggest? I'd probably say this. This is for your bang for your buck. This is probably Top three suggestions. Don't eat breakfast. Just stay in the fast uh, and just give it a whirl. See, if, if you are, like I said, eating breakfast every day and you're overweight, cut this out. 
try it for a month, keep everything else the same, and see see what happens if you go down or you go up. Now the key guys, by the way, one last thing. If you do cut breakfast, that does not mean, okay, now I'm going to eat more at lunch and dinner, right? Don't don't try to make up the calories elsewhere. Like, oh, I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm going to get that. Instead of getting that, I'm going to get an extra cheeseburger. Like, don't do not do that. That's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you keep all else the same, you keep everything else the same, and you cut breakfast out, um, you should see either a slow in your weight gain or a reversal in your weight gain, right? So that's what I got for you guys for today. Give this tip a try out. I'm gonna do a few more weight loss things, and we're gonna keep going down. Um, we're gonna keep going down the the rabbit hole of my philosophy of lose weight and use the bath mate. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.